if we can get the representatives from each of those bits up to the stage. cards if you stick your hands up um, if you have any questions and then we will basically sort of sanitize them we'll decide if they can be googled and we're not going to ask them and initially we have a question for 2024 is there a better place in the UK than the Excel Center which was not really in London because once you were there you were stuck <laughs> okay yeah so um, as you can see from the um, document, we are looking at two locations. We're not just looking at one location. Um, and we have very strong pros and cons from both of them. So the other location, as I said previously, is the SEC in Glasgow, which is a pretty much about as far away from, from the Excel Centre you can get, even using the Docklands Light Railway. <laughs> <laughs> We're also really aware of, obviously the UK is quite small and it has quite a limited amount of locations. We originally had 10 on our shortlist, that went down to three and is now two. Um, but we're very aware of the strengths and weaknesses of each of the venues and that's very much part of our negotiation process at the moment. Because both of those sites have hosted us, so they also know us very well, which means that they're very aware of the needs that we have, including things like the DLR, including things that have, that have previously often uh, happened, uh, Party Space is the one from Glasgow. So we're very aware of that um, and we're aware that that is one of the weaknesses of the Excel Centre. I'm not even going to sugarcoat that, okay? A question for all of the bids. Um, are you able to take pre supports this weekend? DC in 2021 is able to take pre supports this weekend. Uh, we can be in the com suite after the Fanish Inquisition, and uh, it's always available via our website. Chicago in 2022 withdrew, so we would love to take your money and buy a house in Aruba, but we're prepared to do that this weekend. <laughs> We'll just we'll just go in order here. Uh, no, uh, we're still <laughs> uh, we're still in the process. We've we've just filed our incorporation paperwork. So you could give me money, uh, but that'll go to my student loan payment. Hey, so. Kathy, <laughs> Kathy, can you please identify yourself? Seattle, 2025. And your name, Kathy. Thank you. <laughs> um, Esther, 2024. Uh, no, but I really like wine. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, 2023, uh, I've requested the financial information to be able to take um, pre-supports and I've not received it yet. Just a quick add to what Dave said, um, you can also pre-support Chicago 22 online on our website. Jane Nice, 2023, yes, you can support us either online or I have forms and I will take your money. And just to answer quickly the other question, part of this question that was there, um, all of the seated conventions have websites that are all able to take memberships online, so I wouldn't be expecting any of them to take it this weekend. You can approach individual committees if you wish, but in general I'd be expecting you to do that through your website. NASVIC, is, NASVIC 2020 is also able to take these supports, check, cash, and swear. Uh, for UK 2024, Esther? Um, 
Ask, ask me about Brexit. Come on, come on. <laughs> uh, program space expansion in the Excel? Yes, uh, they've done a couple of things. They've opened up uh, the area upstairs that used to be Prog Ops and they've changed it into six really quite small rooms, but they'd be the areas where we would put cafe clutches and maybe move some of the ops rooms previously so that those rooms are used for smaller things and then we can open out some of the other spaces that you probably didn't actually see. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously you <laughs> They've also addressed the... No, no, no. <laughs> Don't interrupt him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they've also addressed the issue of second stage. It turns out that that was actually a space that they were finding very difficult to use and they've actually implemented uh, a semi-permanent wall that actually splits that area in two um, and can split it down further as well. So that's actually an event space that uh, was a bit suboptimal that they've actually obviously, you know, just realised is a bit suboptimal. So. <laughs> a question for Nice. Is there any chance you'll pick a date outside of the European summer holidays? It could be under consideration, but as far as I know, um, considering my communications with my committee, they're fairly firmly set on the August 2 to 6th date because they believe it will work well for them. And what percentage of your hotels have air conditioning? Ooh, I'm going to have to ask on that one, but we get over a million visitors per year. I'm sure there's a significant percentage. Christmas in 2020. <laughs> Okay, well, that's not what was written down. <laughs> Will there be a great t-shirt? I don't have enough Christmas t-shirts. <laughs> that's a fabulous question. Barb? Barb? <laughs> Con conveniently, one of our big committee is part of off-world designs. I'll bring it up with Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Sharpies. I, I can't believe you people have no more questions. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, Kevin, do you want to make an announcement? Yeah. I'd like to thank the big.